What is good you guys, my name is Rebound here. welcome back to with another video, it has been a couple days, so you guys are doing well, the most brutal ant, the slaver and polygurus, polygurus, I don't know if, if that's how you say it, the most brutal ant, bro, I don't know if this is supposed to be the most dangerous or the most, I don't know what the heck this type of ant this is, but we all know in a nutshell has some really good scientific type videos that I really enjoy, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, let's get right to it. Everything changed when the slaver nation attacked. Slaver nation? What used to be a thriving colony is now a captured Damn. country. Slaves do the work. Good chow down on other ants. Until they die, only to be replaced by new victims harvested in brutal raids. Mm. But let's go back to the beginning. Oh my gosh. Okay. The world war of the ants is claiming millions of lives every day. Lord have mercy. But in the brutal world of ants, straight up war is not the only way. Around 50 ant species practice slavery, the What's most that? extreme division of labor. Okay. We don't know how this began, but some ant species perfected this cruel trade. Okay. Meet Polyergus, the Polyergus. most intense of the slaver ant tribes. Mm. There are different species, but generally they're four to ten millimeters long, with brown to blackish bodies and sickle-shaped mouths. Yeah, they look scary as hell. Polyergus has specialized in slavery so much that they've lost their ability to care for themselves. They don't clean, build nests, care for their brood, or feed themselves. What? They only exist for raiding. Slaves wow! They only exist for raiding. That's crazy. Of the That's funny as heck. So a few hundred polyergus and a single queen control thousands of slave ants. That's crazy. We'll summarize That's and funny simplify what we know about polyergus into one grand story. You can find more information in our sources. Link so in the description now, for those. Let's witness the cruel banality of nature. The raid. Okay. It all begins on a mild summer morning on a sunny field. Witness this colony of over 10,000 formica ants, genetically cousins of polyergus, who build a thriving nest underground. They are a widespread genus. Some species are good fighters, some great builders, and some cattle farmers, often welcomed by humans because they hunt vermin that hurt forests. Okay. Nobody noticed the lone polyergus scout that briefly showed up this morning before she bolted away again. The attack begins in the early afternoon. The scout returned from her mission to find the Formica nests. Wow. She dances erratically and spreads pheromones that excite and mass recruit more and more ants until a large raiding party of a thousand warrior S's has formed. Oh my a goodness! A close well-organized column up to bro, ten they're on their freaking begins to Viking move. type way, bro. As the Polyergus raiding party arrives Actually. at the Formica colony, the attack begins almost immediately. Mm. Dozens of attackers begin digging and clearing up debris from the nest's entrance to make it easier to storm. As soon as they're done, hundreds of the attackers oh. rush inside. Oh my god! The defenders vastly outnumber their attackers and are formidable warriors able to shoot at it. Yeah, and that doesn't of work. fighting back effectively, they seem confused and scatter rather than fighting back. Polyergus also seems to be somewhat resistant to the acid sprays of the defenders. Really? And so even if a defense Boy, they're unstoppable! ...is forming, the attackers use their mandibles to pierce and kill. Oh, damn! There are a few different <laughs> oh, ideas as to why Polyergus attacks are so efficient, and one of the most fascinating ones is chemical warfare. Mm, okay. Instead of relying yeah. on brute force, they release a propaganda pheromone that makes the defenders panic, unable to mount an organized defense. Bro! The attackers have nothing this is to gain crazy. from intense ant-to-ant -ant combat other than immense casualties. What's more, they actually want their victims to survive so that they can be raided again in a few weeks. <laughs> wow, they're, the playing unfold, the they're playing games! They're playing games! Looking for their most valuable That's possession, funny. the colonist babies. Okay. They grab the pupae and larvae that will make up the next generation of Formica oh. and carry them out of the nest. Wow. Hundreds are abducted and brought back to the Polyergus colony in this raid alone. They're stealing their babies. Well, most of them. A few unlucky ones are eaten as a sort of snack. The surviving victims they eat the will be turned into slaves. After about an hour, the raid is over and the Formica can begin what? to recover. It seems their only strategy is to make even more ants. A decent-sized colony can forfeit thousands of pupae Lord, in a single mercy. raiding season and still survive. Although in this case, while the raid was going on, 
something even more sinister happened. What happened? What the frick is that? Thought though, because how are polyergus turning ants into slaves? Yeah. How to brainwash ant slaves? Okay. Ants conquered almost the entire planet over 100 million years ago. They owe their success to being social animals that perfected chemical communication. Chemical signals and cues let ants know what their colony needs and what each individual should do. Mm. And most importantly in this case, who is a friend or foe? Slave making ants are much less social than other ant species. Mm. Some species miss a lot of the genes other ants have to make communication possible. In a sense, this is they interesting. are bad at talking to each other. So it may be that as Polyergus ancestors started to abduct other ants, they lost the ability to collaborate and work together productively. Man. Soon after the stolen Formica offspring have been brought to the slaver colony, they are progressively covered in Polyergus pheromones. Oh, wow. They are chemically imprinted, similar yeah. to a duckling who imprints on its mother after birth. When the new slaves hatch, they behave as though they are part of the Polyergus colony yeah. and begin to work for them unconditionally. That's crazy. That is crazy. This is genius. <laughs> they they're actually smart. Additionally, keeping the This is clean, smart. Caring for the next generation this of slaves scary. and masters, hunting for food and feeding their enslavers mouth to mouth. Hey yo, this sort we're of making out go so far that if they encounter free formica ants in the wild, they will treat them as enemies. Wow. In a sense, they're not true slaves as they serve willingly and show no interest in freedom. It's more like violent abduction and adoption, which doesn't make things that much better. And as the Formica only live for a few months, mm. a constant new supply of victims is necessary. To survive, Polyergus can never stop enslaving. That's crazy! How to make new slave colonies. <laughs> How they, are new Polyergus They're so smart to be created? doing this? After all, Frick. Polyergus workers are so useless that a queen can't start a new colony without slaves. Mm. But how does she make slaves without warriors? True. It turns out there are two main strategies. Okay. The more dangerous one might unfold during a raid like the one we witnessed before. A young Polyergus queen silently follows the raiding party. Oh. Using the chaos of the invasion, she's able to find her way to the Formica Queen and kill her, taking over the shaken colony. Oh, wow! Now, such a victory oh, may be short-lived. Polyergus do not tolerate other slaver colonies within their hunting ground. <laughs> they raid each other fiercely too, oh, and can frick. destroy the competing colonies nearby. So while this tactic sometimes works, it is pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Another young queen is going for a different strategy. She's looking for a Formica colony that is further from her birthplace, mm. attacking a whole colony on her own. That's crazy. She bolts through an entrance, pushing aside confused ants that try to stop her, releasing a powerful appeasement pheromone that drives defenders away. That she is She has crazy. only a short time window a to one man find army. Formica queen deep or in the one woman army. nest. Once she finds her target, both queens engage in a fight to the death. Oh, Lair, Lair, here we go. The Polyergus queen is well equipped with her sharp mandibles. She bites and rips into her victim for Damn. about half an hour before she finally calms down. Oh. Between her bites, she licks the chemical surface of the dead Formica Queen, covering herself in her pheromones. This is crazy! When she's done with this macabre ritual, Formica workers approach her. <laughs> Subdued by her intense smells, Manipulation, they bro. feeding her as though pledging their allegiance to their new ruler. She still might not be done, though. Formica colonies often have multiple queens who all need to be defeated. Oh, which is wow. Not guaranteed. That's crazy. Often, attacking queens will be stopped by a phalanx of workers that rip her apart or are defeated in royal battle. That's crazy. But if she does manage to kill all the queens, the colony has been taken over and the enslaved brood will begin to serve a new queen. This is serve. crazy. She now begins laying eggs that are cared for by her new slaves until new Polyergus ants hatch that will soon start new raids on neighboring colonies. No matter what we humans do, quietly below our feet, the world war of the ants is raging. That's With crazy. wild and horrible strategies fought by billions of individuals every single day. So we got multiple wars happening, bro. We got wars in other countries. We got wars beneath our feet. That's crazy. Polyergus will continue you know. to hunt for slaves <laughs> oh, as man. to stop raiding would be their demise. Can this affect us, and though? In the war of the ants, there is no giving up. Can this affect us or no? We want to explore even more ant species in videos to come. But not just ants, 
Our planet has so many more wonders to marvel at and learn about. Mm. That is, if we manage to preserve their habitat and turn the tide on climate change. Oh, Something yeah, true. we're very passionate about at Kotzkazart and have covered extensively in past videos. Yeah. We okay, so this will be the end of the video. Yeah, there is a huge war going on between different ants right now. These slaver ants are no freaking joke. And that queen, brave. Very brave. Like, I would not go taking on a full ant army by yourself, releasing all these chemical pheromones or whatever, just to kill each queen if you can, anyways. That's crazy. You guys feel about this video, about the ant war that's going on? Let me know down below in the description. Also, link to some other, to their full video will be in the description down below as well. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Have a great day. Peace. You win. Perfect. Thank you.